everyone is not your friend. Everyone does not have your best interest in mind. I think some people are looking for your downfall. In your face, they may say they love you, they care about you, they want the best for you, but perhaps in their mind or behind your back, they are wishing, in so many words, for you to fail. Don't be so quick to follow someone's advice. Everyone's advice is not always good. Some people may mean well, but if you follow their advice, in some cases, it may lead you astray. I hope this makes sense. There is a person I know and sometimes that person tells me the advice some people gave that individual. And sometimes I get shocked by the nonsense a person may advise that person. Like, in some cases, extremely bad advice, extremely. And I believe it made me think, I think there is a deeper view in that. I think demons are sending people in that person's way to try to get that person back to their old ways or perhaps worse, maybe even curse them. Do we know everyone's intentions? I don't. This person over here may smile at you, may laugh with you, may say they are your best friend, but in truth, they don't really care about you. Maybe they are there to use you, but you feel they are your friend, so you are willing to follow what they say because you think they won't do you wrong. We need to test what people say. We have to, in so many words, line it up with the Bible. I remember some years ago, I was friends with a person and that person gave me advice. And at that time, I thought it was not that bad to do or whatever. But as time passed by, I believe I noticed or learned that was horrible advice. I may, man, I probably would be messed up right now if I would have followed that advice. You don't know everyone's mind. You don't know everyone's intentions. Some people may be jealous of you and you may not know it. Don't be so quick. Don't be so hungry to have a friend. Don't be so hungry to have a girlfriend, husband, wife. Don't get into desperation. I believe demons can manipulate you even more if they find out you are desperate for a particular thing. I am trying to tell you. 
Everyone's advice is not good. I remember this person told me about someone and that person told me what someone said. That woman gave that person horrible advice. And as I learned more of what happened, I believe that woman was jealous of that individual. Very jealous, as it seems. Look, man. Is it really bad to be alone? You may not like being alone, okay. But isn't it better to be alone than to be with someone that is jealous of you and trying to trap you or trying to mess you up? Like, are you so desperate or do you have this low self-esteem to where you are willing to be with anyone to fulfill that loneliness like do you are you willing to partner with someone that wants to do you harm just to say you have a friend or you have a girlfriend or you have a mate or whatever else like that. Are you willing to go that low? Are you? We need to protect ourselves. When you are trying to live for Jesus Christ, I see it as a race. I believe there are demons that are trying to take you out of the race. I believe demons can use people. Yes, like God can use people. So I think demons can use people too. Didn't Satan use the Apostle Peter to say something to Jesus? Yes. So why can't demons do it to others too? Stop being so hungry for friends or whatever else like that. Be comfortable being alone if you have to. Not saying you have to, but if it takes time for you to find a good friend or a husband or wife or whatever, take your time. Because I think one of the ways, or maybe I should say, I think one of the common ways some people fall back into sin is because of peers. P-E-E-R-S, peers. Friends, so-called friends, or whatever else like that. Let me stop here. God bless you.